Hi everyone. I welcome you once again. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to look at the various ribbons and then the other features that we can see on the interface. So it's another walkthrough on the interface of Microsoft Word 2016. Now, on the top here, this is where we call it title bar. Title bar in the sense that they're showing the name of the current document we are working on and they're showing document 10 because we've not saved our work yet. And then the word you are seeing here is telling you the software you are using at the moment. So if you should open PowerPoint, you see the name of presentation or PowerPoint here. So let's move on. Now, what is this icon here? This is called the save icon. The save icon. Remember when we were working on the save, I asked you to click on that so that you can save a document you've made changes to. So we know that one already. And then this is redo. Redo. Always remember that when you see this small drop down, meaning that there are more there. So that is it. And this, uh, after that, I'll show you, after the walkthrough, I'll show you how we use the redo. So we use the undo. Sorry, undo. This is undo. And then this is called... This one is called redo, redo, redo. Now, this is also called, what you are seeing here, the icon you are seeing here is called quick access to bar or customize quick access to bar. Now, this is what we use that one for. If you click here, meaning you are trying to add a command which we have here in any of this ribbon. It could be under the home ribbon or the insert ribbon or any command within any of these ribbons. So now, let's say there's a particular command we like to use it often. So let's say we print a lot. Mostly we print a lot. And for us to print, we all know when we're treating the backstage, you would have to go to file before you can click on print. But then let's say you, if you print a lot, you can just click here and then click on uh, quick access toolbar. Here we are trying to customize a certain toolbar to appear on the title bar. So let's try to select, let's say quick print and see. Now you can see that when we click on quick print, an icon came here. This means that we now have an icon that we can just, whenever we want to print, we can just come and then click on this one. So let's give it a try. So, you can check, you can check for my taskbar, and this is my taskbar. You can see that once I click on that print, this button print, once I click on the print, you see that an icon of a printer showing here. Now, if you want to know if we have really instructed the computer to print something, just double click on it and you see the name of the document we were trying to print here and there is it. So, in simple put,
when we have the print icon here it means that we have already made our settings remember when we were treating the backstage we've already made our settings here so if we if we are done with the settings here then anytime we click on this print icon then it will start to use the settings we've made earlier to print a document straight away and that is how come we saw the printer icon on my taskbar okay let's move on so try adding another command like draw table and let's see now i'm going to add draw table command on my title bar to see if it will work so this is the drop table command i'll click on it and now look at something we now have it on so whenever i want to draw a table I just click on it and I'll come and I'll just start drawing a table. And that is how it works as well. So let's move on. If you want to remove the command you just place on your title bar, you just click on the quick access toolbar and then you go and then click on it to uncheck it now you can see that the table command is gone you go again and then you click on quick print and you see that quick print is gone so now we have redo and then undo again this is redo and then this is undo so let's try to do do some other thing now this whole thing that you are seeing here is called ribbon or ribbon ribbon as in r r i r i b b o n good now mostly some people refer to this ribbon as tabbed tabbed ribbon tab and ribbon and this is what i mean by tabbed ribbon tab ribbon in the sense that when you pick the various menus here it has been grouped into what tabs tabs so File is a tab, home is a tab, insert is a tab, and so as design and up to the help. They have all been put into tabs. So if you want to access a particular ribbon, let's say if we want to access the insert ribbon, we click on this insert tab and you see that we have a lot of commands here lot of commands here so a ribbon is just like a menu that when you click you have other commands under that particular tab so for example when you click on the home when your computer opens when your Microsoft Office opens by default it will be on the home while you see you are on the home ribbon on the ribbon we can see some icon group of icons here so we have this one called clipboard another group of icons called fonts another group of icons called paragraph so now they have been put into groups so their name is mostly being referred to as um, group related commands the name for 
each group depend on the name of the box here so this one is clipboard box phone box and then paragraph box but when you join the whole thing it is considered as what group of related commands now let me try to explain group of related commands it is called group of related commands because when we pick the clipboard clipboard is mainly used for pasting copying a text so let's try to have an example on that so let's say i have typed ribbon before i can copy the ribbon text i would have to select the text first and you see that once i select the text my copy command and then the cut command will be active so let me try clicking outside to see if it will work now you see that i've clicked outside and so we could see that the cut and then the copy command are inactive so let me try to select it again and you see that the cut command the copy command are active again and mind you when we say cut command cut is used to move a test or something from one location to another and then copy is just a duplication of that particular test so let me try copying this test and see you see i copy the test within the same clipboard and then again i'm going to paste it within the same using the same clipboard so i just pasted 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 it is telling you that on this clipboard its main purpose or its main function is to copy and paste text is to copy and paste text good let's continue on. now we are looking at the ribbon so this whole thing you are seeing here is the ribbon and with each ribbon when you select it consists of the tools we have there so let's click on insert you see that we have so many the insert ribbon you see that we have so many commands under the insert ribbon let's click on the design and you see that we have so many commands under the under the design ribbon now what is this tool this is display ribbon options display ribbon options now let's try to look what is there when you click here you have the chance to hide your ribbon that is auto ribbon when you are not doing anything it will go off exactly like you are seeing so if you want to bring it back you go and click here some of you might be sitting behind computers that is having the same thing so when you go to behind when you sit behind com any computer and you see that thing don't panic just try to locate this icon and then click on it to deactivate to hide okay so show ribbon tabs only so here we can click here to show only the tabs this ones you see now we are showing only the ribbon tabs and there is it we are showing only the ribbon tabs so we click on home before we see 
the full ribbon expanding now when you click outside it will go back so don't panic you, you can only right click here sorry you can only right click anywhere in this ribbon anywhere right click anywhere here right click then you go to you deselect this one collab the ribbon so some of you might be sitting behind computers that are having these issues so when you have that issue when you go and you can't see anything you're only seeing the tabs you click on a particular tab then you right click then you select this one good so that is it now let's try to look at another thing on the interface we have something here called ruler one is here and then the other one is here Another thing also is called the rule and the scrolling bar. And this is the scrolling bar. The scrolling bar is just here. This is it. And then there's another thing called status bar. And this whole thing is called status bar. Okay, that is status bar. Status in the sense that it tells the number of pages you have, it tells the number of words you've typed on your page. And if you want to do a grammar check, you can do that too. Here too, we have something called document view commands. And it is made up of three icons. One, two, three document view commands now what is it used for supposing we want to have a particular view to the documents or to the, whatever we have on our page when you click on this this is called read mode it will change everything to a read mode whereby it will appear to you like you are using microsoft powerpoint so let's try to click on the read mode and see You see, now it is making everything look like we are reading from a book. You can see that most of the functions here are gone. So let's try the next one, which is called print layout. Now with the print layout, when you click on the print layout, it shows you the exactly view the exact view of how your document will be like after printing so you click here and you look at how your work will look like when you print it by default whenever you open any microsoft word this is where you are it is always on print layout so you when you open certain file or certain document and then you see it this way please don't panic just click on the next button here and then you have your test back working also there is another icon here under the same under the same document view command and this one is called web layout web layout it is called web layout because once you click on it the test appears like you are using a browser you are in a browser surfing let's see exactly now you can see that everything we have here is showing like we are on the web so that is it always whenever you see it like this don't panic just try to click on the model icon that is the print layout so we have another t 
thing here, function here that we have to look at, called the zoom. The zoom. The zoom is used to either increase how your page appears to you or decrease it. Not necessarily increasing the size of the font, but how they appear to you. So you can click on the plus, which some people will say plus or positive or increase. So that but then the actual name is zoom in. So you click on zoom in and you see that your page is becoming big and bigger. And then zoom out is the minus or the negative sign or the decrease sign. So you click on it and you see that the size of your document is decreasing. Good. So we are done with the interface and we are about to start using Microsoft Word. Be prepared and then let's start together.